Hi everyone, this is Diane. This package from Alette just a little bit ago, and I haven't opened it yet. I opened the end of it so I can pull stuff out and I co covered up addresses there. But, um, she wanted something that I was, she's, she's my friend. She came and visited, she and her husband and her cousin, uh, they came and visited me at my home when they're from, she sent me, Alette, you sent me so much more than I sent you. I feel bad. Um, they took a tour of my part of the world, Canada and Niagara Falls, and then down into the U.S., and they made a point of coming to visit me and my children. And uh, that was really, really nice. That was several years ago. It was um, before I sold my house and moved. And it was, so it was about a year after my husband died. So um, she had seen, oh, the colored guest checks that I made ephemera with. And she asked if she could buy some. So I told her I would just send her some. And so then she was, said she was sending me some stuff too. So I put together a small envelope of items for her, but it's so expensive to mail things across the ocean, you know. But look at all she sent me. I didn't know you were sending this much of that, but let, it looks like fun already. Let's take a look and see what's here. This looks like um, wallpaper roll on um, border. Oh, it's taped on both ends. Look at that, it's children's clothing. Oh, I love this. And this came from the Netherlands. How fun. I will definitely use that. This is an interesting piece. <coughs> I wonder if you made it. It's a red, white, and blue heart made out of felt and it's got this little fabric flower and a little blue wooden strawberry. This is adorable. The strawberry has blue dots so she used a blue polka dot ribbon that matches that perfectly. Did you make this a lot? That is so cute. I'll use that in a patriotic journal I think. This is a ribbon that says, I see the word moments. Okay, what does it say? Collect moments, not things. Well, <laughs> you say that to a junk journal or a lot, but we collect stuff, don't we? But I collect moments too, and we record those moments in our journals. And then there's this piece of sheer, maybe a piece of a curtain, it's got a hem in it. That could be used for so many things, and it's very lovely. This fabric, oh, it's got boat-themed images on it. There's a skipper's portrait, sailor pants, anchors, cute, and some teddy bears. Ah, so cute! It looks like Daisy Kingdom. Must be they sold Daisy Kingdom stuff in the Netherlands. There's some pretty butterflies. Beautiful. And some bows. Pink bows with little rosebuds. That's very pretty. It's a little cellophane packet of um, Dutch 
stamps, Netherland. So that must be their queen. But there's something else in there too. Oh, it's got some hands writing and then it says postcode. Cute. I like stamps and it's fun to have them from different countries. This packet looks like it has teacups. Is it supposed to make it 3D? Looks like it. Well, that's cute. And there's green. They're kind of shiny, like um, opalescent black and white and silver. Kind of a really pale green and a blue. Very nice. That's something different. Very unique. This looks like a fun packet. Looks like handmade paper that's been cut into shapes, and it, I think it said made in Nepal. So we have little flowers, pink, different patterns. And hearts. These will be fun to find uses for. I love these. Some hearts and flowers and circles and stars. Look at the gold one. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, it's just got one gold edge point. These are fun. I like the way these papers feel. And some butterflies. Thank you. taped everything up real good. Well, this is some ephemera pieces. It has flowers and a mustache. Don't know what that... Oh, it's a cactus in a pot. So that's got... And there's more cactus in there. That's cool. Oh, you sent me that some of these before, and they're all gone now, long gone. So yay, I got more. I think they're so cute with a little bow tie. Thanks. And these cards. I don't know what that means. Brain breakers? That's what it looks like. <laughs> I'm translating loosely, I guess. And some playing cards. They're cool. I like the the font, I guess, you call it. And this is some die cuts of florals, botanicals. I didn't open it. Well, they have a little hole at the top with a reinforcer on it. These are pretty. They look like they're brighter than watercolors. I suppose you could get bright watercolors, but they they just look like a wash of paint, a splash of paint made these. And the leaves. Yeah, they'll be really fun. Oh, is this a sachet? Yeah. Dreams of heaven. Smells good. I'll put that in my dresser drawer. wonder if she punched these out. I don't think I'll get to my um, Etsy shares. I didn't know there'd be so much to look at here. I think they're punched out of cards. They feel like a, like a greeting card, but 
it's some Dutch children it looks like and I have that a punch that shape or maybe they just came that way I don't know oops I keep dropping things but this has a windmill painted little wooden shoes cute I'm gonna use these Dutch things in my own journal from my friend Alette. They're, they're so adorable. There's a bigger picture of the Dutch shoes. They're an ornament though, I think. They're tied together. I love these. And the little Dutch children, and it says Holland. And some washi tape with the little houses and trees, tulips. Oh, so nice. Gotta keep them all together. Thank you a lot. Thank you. This looks like corn coin holders and yeah, penny wrappers or something. Coin wrappers. I don't know what their coins are called. Oh, I guess not. It's a card. Okay, so these are card. Looks like a canapé. Doesn't say what they are, though. I love these words. I don't know what they are. I don't know how to say them. We've got more Dutch words on these. These are so cool. And then some coin holders. Here's a little to-do list, a sticky note. I love that. I love the circle shapes, you know, and this is really pretty. These are all little sticky note pads. And that looks like a little purse with a boot. How cute. I can use that for an upcoming journal. I'm going to set that aside and copy to go. There, that's a nice roomy uh, journal spot. I think what I'll do is once that music journal set sells, I'm going to have an edited copy version of this video with that part removed. And then I'll just, I'll keep this part on my channel because I usually remove, if I'm selling items, not journals, I'll remove the video so I'm not cluttering up my video. Now these are little maybe cupcake sticks with flowers and butterflies. They're so cute and you can use them in journals. I've got some napkins here. Aw, little Dutch boy and girl kissing and a cow. This is a placemat and some Dutch shoes and the uh, tulips and a little sailboat and a windmill and there are two of them I love this I really love this and Dutch children oh that is that's art right there that's gorgeous trying to help each other carry the heavy water pail that's the same thing and I think there's probably four of them Yes. Oh, that's lovely. And I love this. And she sent me two of those and some pretty flowers. Some butterflies, kind of puffy stickers, butterflies and flowers. Hi, drink tea with me? <laughs> Guess it's an invitation, but it's it's a piece of stationery. Oh, there's more. Got 
two of those and two of these. I always like new using stationery in my journals. This says wishful thinking, and that's beautiful. Note paper, quite a few pages there. I love that. Oh, I love Pooh Bear. He's communing with a bee, bee, it looks like, and writing a letter, and reading a letter, and getting or giving a present. And some maps. This is prob probably the Netherlands, and she had showed me before <clears throat> when she was here, actually, or she sent me something with a map and had circles on it to um, show me where she lived, but I can't remember which part of the Netherlands she lives in. This is really cool paper, though. Just a second. Konings Park. She told me that, I don't know if they're counties or districts or what, she told me the different sections that she lived in. And a piece of crochet lace. Oh, this is gorgeous. Blue, pale, pale blue roses embroidered on that. Love that. And this is pretty soft. I have something similar that I get from Hobby Lobby, but this is way softer. So pretty. And, well, this looks like French, not Dutch. Life is beautiful, I believe is what that says. La vie est belle. And a pretty blue stretchy lace. That would be pretty tied into a tag. And this, which was wrapped around something, feels very soft. I hope you're not going to be disappointed with how little you're going to get in your envelope a lot. I got some bingo cards. I always like bingo cards, and they're the perfect weight, not too heavy. Um, these are little stickers. This looks like a vintage album vellum piece, and it's got cobwebs all over it, or spider webs. Looks like there's a fly right there. Interesting. I, I love this paper. That's really neat, and she sent me two pieces of it. And this receipt paper several pages of that it's written in dutch oh some vintage ledger and just some nice quality paper it looks like it was torn out of a book and a big grid i always use that and some music paper there's no words and music is a universal language if I can read that in English, I can read it in Dutch. <laughs> well, we have some stamps. This pretty frame and all these little floral pieces and little collage -y bits to add to it. How nice. Oh, there's several stamps here. This is a summer set. It's got a bikini and sunglasses and flip-flops and a beach tote bag. This one has some stickers. Adorable animals. Oh, look at the owls. Oh my goodness, so cute. I think she remembered that I liked owls. Flowers and cacti. Oh, those are neat. And some bouquets. Tulips.
here we have little cards. They're just, they don't open. They're quite thick. And they're little perfume bottles. It says Flower Bomb. Victor and Rolf. Black Star. Naughty Alice. <laughs> and some cards. Oh, they're so neat. This, look at that. There's an idea for you for a journal. If you can make a notch like that, just slip a paper in for journaling. That's cool. So this is a very soft, like a handmade paper with a deckled edge. And this is sturdier than this, but they match. It's so beautiful. There's a blue and a green and a pink. They're gorgeous. Very nice. Look at that. I love that. It's got the Dutch couples and tulip design and this little design. That's perfect. And some more stamps with beautiful, beautiful corners and flourishes. Uh, I can't wait to try them out. And here we have rub on transfers. Oh, fun. Pretty blue. Yay. Now this I'll have to go through quickly. I think she, when she came to visit me, I think she brought me something like this. A collection of stuff to use, just like this. Not, it was different, different designs, but this is what, it made me think of what she brought me before. So there's a sheet of stickers here in English and some, wow, sparkly stickers and they do spell out words good luck friends etc they're a little hard to read because of the sparkle they're they're pretty cool and then these are gold fashion stickers and yeah these are stickers too i like that kindness is like sugar it makes life taste a little sweeter when someone shows kindness to you, it does sweeten up your day, doesn't it? Oh, I'll be making ice cream journals, and there's ice cream on these. And a strawberry. Several strawberries. Look at the banana. These are so fun. Yeah, these kind of things, um, these kind of images, I'm not sure where they came from. They are, they're in English, but isn't Daphne's Diary a Dutch magazine? That's what they kind of remind me of, some of these things. Oh, I said I was going to go through these quickly. And these are, see, what she sent me were like this. They poked out and not stickers but they had the same kind of look. So astronomy. Yeah, I used some of these in some of my journals. Cool, there's a lot here to work with. Love those light bulbs. Each page has a different aesthetic. So fun, Alette, you sent me so much. Wow. Thank you, my friend. I will I'm gonna make myself a little journal and use your stamps and some of your really Dutch Dutch things in a journal to keep for myself. Okay, now the Etsy shares. I'll try to do it quickly. Um, Meg from Chasing Re Retro had recently shared that she ordered some wallpaper pieces from a shop called Ink Drop 43212. I will link it below. And it was really nice because they were vintage wallpapers and they were manageable pieces, not like a whole roll. 
And so I went right over there to see if she had anything, and she didn't have, I don't know if there was, if there was anything left, it wasn't anything I wanted, and it, and it was probably only one or two sets. But then I favorited her shop, and then I got notified when she had some new stuff. So I went over there, and then she had an offer where if you spent so much, you'd get free shipping. So, of course, that's what I did. So this represents four or five different sets. They're nice big sheets of vintage wallpaper, and it depends on... They didn't all have the same amount. There were four in some and five pieces in another. I'm sure it depended on, you know, what she had. I don't know where she gets her stuff, but... So let's just look at it. I love this one. The colors of this are very 70s. That is so, so spring-like. These are so great. Oh, look at that one. Oops, I skipped one. Ooh, neat. Love that. I think that's my favorite because, you know, pink. So I think that was one set. And then this one has fruit trees. And this these have the same kind of a shiny, but they're, they're, they're vintage. It's called Orchard. This one is fancy ribbons. I love this gingham. Oh, this was a blue set. Look at that, how pretty. That was the blue set. I, I know I won't be able to remember what they all were. And there was only one of each of these, so I, I just... I kept putting stuff in my cart till I had a free, till I had free shipping. So I didn't leave much wallpaper there, and I forgot to check before I started the video to see if she had replenished. I love the colors of that one. I think this one was just called floral. And then I got two sets of flocked wallpaper. So this damask design is flocked. It's got a silver background and the cream flocking, and it's um, aged. It's torn there, but you can see the color is different because it's aged. Oh my goodness. This at the edge, around the edges, is much brighter. And this little piece right there, <laughs> I love it. So old looking, you know, vintage. I wonder if there's a date. No, I don't see a date on the back. Look at that red. Oh, that's gorgeous. And a burnt orange. And this is the second flocked set. It's got a silver pearly background and a pretty blue. Love that color. Champagne color. Kind of a pale gold with white. That's so pretty. And this one's gorgeous. Oh, my word. These are so fun. Now, I have wallpaper books, you know, the wallpaper sample books, but they're new, and I like vintage wallpaper. I like the new, too. It works great for a lot of things. She had it all rolled up and wrapped in this, which was taped together to keep to contain it, and then shipped it in a box. But this was all rolled up together, like you saw at the beginning. <clears throat> but I love to have uh, an assortment of vintage. So I was very glad to get that. Oh, she also, I think this was a freebie, this Anaglypta piece, which I also love. I have some very similar to this, but I use it sparingly because I don't find it. I only found it the one time at the flea market. All right, and then I got from, these are all things that I got in starting in January of this year. From Amour Fabriques, um, Selena, she had sheet pieces. So like the wallpaper, I like an assortment of sheets. So I'll just show you what I got from her. I won't, I, I won't open them all, you'll be able to see them. So this is the size of them, obviously. And they're all florals. And I could not resist. And she did the same thing with free shipping if you ordered 
a certain amount, a certain dollar amount. I love this one. This one's my favorite. The colors. Mm. Oh, and I got two pieces of it. Yay. And this one has to be my second favorite. I love all of them, but look at that. That is so cute. So in order to get free shipping, I also ordered this. This is a stack of sari pieces with the jewels and stuff, but they're neutral colors for the most part. And I don't want to make boho journals anymore, but I do like to keep some of these kinds of supplies. I got rid of most of mine, but I kept a few and I wanted, I added these to it because I like the neutral of these. And I'll use them in different types of journals. It's different. Look at this one. That's weird. Green, red leaves and green roses. Look at that edge. Look at this. I love this one. This cream and silver. That is so pretty. So pretty. And this one has blue, pretty blue. And this one has blue, little mirrors. Or they're not mirrors, they're little um, spangles. Beautiful. Love that. Oh, this one has little spangles on the edge and on the fabric piece. Very shiny. And lastly, but I still hadn't reached what I needed pretty. So I got some bus tickets and this brought me up to the limit. I can't remember what it was. Um, I don't think these were part of it. I don't think, maybe, maybe she included those. But just some colorful bus tickets. I like to use them. Yeah, these are just things I stuck in the packet. I kind of mixed things together when I organized my ticket drawer. But yeah, I got some colorful bus tickets from her. All right, and then there was one more Etsy seller who also did free shipping if you reached a certain amount. So there were some things that I wanted, like the telling time cards. This is what caught my eye. These are unique flashcards. They're not old, but I love the clocks on them, and it has the time on the back. And I love the colors. They are so neat. And I liked the picture flashcards. Oh, and this is from my friend Leslie. Um, her shop is Vintage Paper Emporium. And I will link all three of the shops below. I like these. Even though they're not vintage, I like flashcards with pictures on them, and they are hard to find vintage ones like that. So they just have all kinds of pictures. There's people, butterfly, animals, numbers, furniture, household things. All kinds of stuff. Pencil. And food. If there was a strawberry in there, I probably already took it out. Put it in my strawberry stuff. And there's a couple other things that I ordered from her. Um, but I'm not sure where I put them. <laughs> but um, I did get a box that had these cards in it. And I had had all of these before in vintage condition, and I still have some of them, but 
Um, these are not vintage, they, they're reproductions, but I just love the images. So you've probably seen these cards before. I will open all of them. And then I got French phrases cards in a nice, nice box. I think you take the lid off the top and the cards are in there. And I don't know where I put it. And the other one is French picture cards. There were fewer of them, maybe 10. And they they had a nice colored background and a French word with the picture. And I don't know where I put them, but I have to do some cleaning. I'm going to be cleaning in here all day tomorrow. So hopefully I'll figure out where I put them. And I still needed a small item, a lower price item to meet the quota. So I, I got these. can always use uh, recipe cards. So. Well, well, look right here. This is the French phrases. I wonder, I already had it out and I was looking for it. I don't know where the French picture cards are. That's the only thing I'm missing. So this is the French phrases box. Isn't it so cool? And it even has you, uh, has it so you can, has a pronunciation guide is what I'm trying to say. Comment allez-vous? I remember learning that. One of the first things we learned in French, how are you? Je vais bien, merci. I'm very well, thank you. How is your family? Formidable. Terrific. <laughs> so these are greetings. These are everyday conversation. I don't speak French, by the way. I just remember how to pronounce some of it. I remember very little of it. Everyday conversation, questions, uh, feelings and emotions. I loved it though. I loved it in my in school. Weather. But if you don't use it, you'll lose it. Activities and interests. So that's all I have to show you today, but that was quite a bit. And I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I showed you today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a creative day. Bye-bye.